Hello, good evening. Um, so I'm not using my camera tonight because my hair's a mess. I've just been swimming and yeah, it looks horrible at the moment. So I'm just ordered, I'm just recording audio and I'm going to be using my cartoon type self uh, for this. Um, so all I'm going to do is like talk about the I moved the microphone back and ha uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, the exercise that stuff that I do um, the kind of stuff I use for it and uh, that's about it really yeah okay so for my running um, I will do a more in depth of what I actually wear in terms of that um, but in terms of like for the apps and stuff that I use the main one I use is uh, is by A6 which is Run Keeper and it's very good because they um, use the GPS from your phone to track where you run and the elevation, your pace, um, and lots of other stuff. There, there is more stuff, but um, I've got the free version. If you want to see more stuff, then you have to pay for it. Uh, anyway, so I've been using uh, the RunKeeper app for a few years, and on it I've recorded 344 uh, runs and a total of 908 miles and I've only used basically two pairs of trainers for that. You are supposed to use more um, just so that you're not doing too many miles with your trainers. Um, but I tend to use trainers until they go completely falling apart. <laughs> um, that's mainly because of how I was brought up. If it ain't broke, don't get rid of it. Um, so anyway, uh, with RunKeeper, it tracks how far you go, the average pace you have for each of the runs, and um, it's got a really good thing because it compares your uh, your weekly totals um, like the previous week and your current week uh, your previous month and this current month and also doing that for the year as well and if you look at um, if you look at what I've got here uh, with the weekly, it's just got uh, four activities, and it is Wednesday, uh, it's been a while, um, and last week I only did four activities as well, but that was because I was just getting back into running ag again, and um, I'm actually quite glad that I've done nearly 12 miles this week. It's going to be more like 15 or 20 by the end of the week anyway. Um, yeah, my pace is, is a, a bit to be desired because <laughs> um, I used to be about a minute faster, around about a minute faster, but that was before I gained basically two stone, um, uh, 28 pounds over the last 12 months, which is not good. But it's it's uh, kind of it to be expected because of the whole lockdown stuff and uh, the mental health uh, thing being around the UK just plummeting. Um, yeah. So my average base is not that good. Um, so let's look at monthly. Now monthly, this month April 
um, I did, I've done so far 38 miles with 16 activities. So that's almost, well that, that's basically two and a bit miles uh, per run. Um, I need to increase that slowly but surely. Last month I only did eight runs. It's not that good. But let's look at the years. So last year, <laughs> last year I did 434 miles and my average pace was um, nine minutes a mile. Uh, which would work out to be something like six or seven miles a kilometer round about that um, and I did 149 activities last year so this year it's uh, it's been a third of the year so far and I've done a third of the activities I need to increase the miles uh, for the rest of this year as long as I don't get any more running injuries that should be fine um, yeah I know um, and I need to decrease my pace as well well increase my speed to decrease my pace does that make sense I think so um, yeah so anyway let's look at the achievements that I've got I've got a longest run of six and a half miles, um, which is the one I was hit the hit by the car on. Yeah, that that hit, being hit by the car actually kept me going somehow. Um, my my personal best for five kilometers which is 3.15 miles round about that um, is 26 minutes 54 seconds which is quite good uh, my fastest 10k is 54 26 um, I do have a personal best for half marathon which is 13.1 miles but it's not recorded on Runkeeper because I did it in an actual event some years ago. And that is uh, 1 hour 56 minutes. Uh, that, well, that's the way I remember it anyway. So that's basically my running so far. Um, I'm still recovering from a running injury. My shoulder is still quite tight, but so anyway, let's look at my swimming. And last year I was doing an average of about five, 25 minutes for, uh, for 64 lengths of a 25 meter pool, um, which works out to be uh, 1,600 meters or basically a mile and that is actually quite good um, I could have gone faster but I get tired towards the end <laughs> um, but this year because there's been basically no real way to do swimming properly um, I've only just started back in to swimming so I've done two swims so far this week the first one on Monday I did um, 1000 meters which is 40 lengths of a 25 meter pool and I did that with two 30 second breaks as well uh, in 18 minutes and 27 seconds which I think is all right but today I uh, took a bit of time off um, so I managed to do a thousand meters 
with two 30 second breaks in 18 minutes and four seconds, which is quite good. Now, if I could get my stamina back up to where it was um, before the first lockdown, then I should be able to knock off at least another minute from that. And the difference between Monday and today was that I had the whole length to myself. There was no one else in, the, in my lane, um, which is really good. So Friday will be my next swim and I will try to reduce how many breaks I have so yeah, uh, watch this space. There will be more running and swimming and other types of exercise things as well. Um, I think midweek because that's just easier for me. And I will do a crappy cover before the weekend. Um, recording that is. Editing and re releasing it uh, by Saturday I think hopefully and I've just got my guitars back from my brother-in-law because he uh, fixed them for me because uh, <clears throat> they weren't making any noise through the leads so my brother-in-law who's a professional musician has fixed them for me so that's really good and he's offered advice for improving them as well Anyway, that's it for today and I will leave you with good night.